Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. I will say this much. Every once in a while, Bob Aram says something that I agree with. Uh, most of the time, I don't agree with a lot of stuff that comes out of Bob Aram's mouth because a lot of times, Bob Aram, you know, is known for blowing smoke up people's ass. But, you know, when you got like pretty much almost 50 years in this business, you know, or pretty much 50 years in the boxing business, well, you got to stretch the truth. I ain't gonna say a little bit. You gotta stress the truth on a regular basis. Keep in mind, his famous quote is, one day I'm lying, the next day I'm telling the truth. Now, he said something that was very interesting about fights. And I do think this is a, a, a salvageable uh, idea. Now, keep in mind, I said this on several occasions. Said this several times. So once again, it just goes to show you that these dudes listen to our videos and particularly minds, you know, and then they feed this information. Now, what did I say need to happen in pay-per-view for pay-per-view to do better? That they would have to lower the price because Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao being $100, that was crazy. And then you got people paying $80 for, don't get me wrong, I got love for Deontay Wilder, but $80, that's just too high. That's just too high. And based off what's going on now, you would be crazy to think people finna fork out uh, $80 for a pay-per-view fight in boxing. So $40 is very feasible. And I think if you do that, you would sell more pay-per-views. And I still think it would be a opportunity to still make a sizable amount of money because sometimes when you charge less you can make you can sell more and make more if you're only selling eight hundred thousand pay-per-views at 89 dollars then that's i don't feel like doing a math somebody put that in the comment section but if you selling pay-per-view fights for forty dollars a piece and it's a good fight with a good card and you sell a, a, a million point five you know what I'm saying then hey real talk you still made what you would make selling it at $80 a piece or 75 so you still would come out profitable or even or make a little bit more money but at the end of the day, it's still gonna come down to the fighters. These fighters are going to have to take a pay cut, whether they like it or not. And it's not just in boxing, it's in all sports. You know, I'm just keeping it 100. But I agree wholeheartedly that they're gonna have to lower pay-per-view if they want it to succeed. This your boy Town Biz, I'm out.